to twist in allegations of voter fraud. A person at the center of the probe, also part of the 19 Action News investigation into college loan scams. Good afternoon. I'm Paul Johnson. And I am Sharon Reed. 19 Action News reporter Paul Olowski went in search of Darnell Nash and didn't have to go any further than investigator Carl Monday's files. The latest developments now at 5. Arthur Carter, a no-show at his registered address today, just as he was as the Board of Elections tried to untangle the acorn mess on Monday. Latila Goins, a no-show at the Board on Monday, same story at her registered address today. Then there's this guy, or gal, or whatever. Are you a man or a woman? It was a question that even Carl Monday found hard to ask. The answer, harder to look at. Uh, you, you see these right here? Look for the camera. Uh -huh. Want me to get naked? Okay. Remember Santina Gibbs? She's actually Darnell Nash, currently being investigated in a college loan scheme. It's the same Darnell Nash who used Lauren Dickinson's address to both register to vote twice and then actually vote, a crime. He's listed this halfway house on several attempts to register fraudulent. I'm trying to find a, a Darnell Nash. Is he here? You know? He's no longer here no more. Okay. You know when he left, roughly? Uh, a couple of months ago in August. Then there's this spot on Birchdale, where there was no point going to the door. Here's the problem with a multiple registration mess that Acorn has had a hand in. Money. The listing of empty lots, dilapidated homes, or just plain false addresses forces the Board of Elections to go on out and visit many of these sites like this one, see that nobody's here, and do a mountain of paperwork. We both know who's paying for it. It could get more expensive. Four or five fake registrations have been found. There could be 60 or more. In Cleveland, Paul Orlowski, 19 Action News.